Good morning, YouTube family. Yes, it is indeed morning, although it's dark. It's about 4.56 on the East Coast. Hey, everybody. Listen, guys. Oh, shout out to all of my new subscribers. Y'all be making me feel so loved in, in my little boring little life, but I really appreciate all of the new subscriptions. I really appreciate all of uh, my same old subscribers. I appreciate all the comments. All the interest, all the love, Mr. Washington. Where you at? Shout out to you. I hope you are well and safe. Um, I am on my way, guys, to Virginia. This is the look of tiredness. Like, I think in the last three days, I've probably had about six hours of sleep, and now I'm on the road heading to Fort Lee, Virginia. Um, shout out to all of the essential workers but special shout out to all of my brothers and sisters in arms for doing what they do every day to protect our country from enemies both foreign and domestic yeah i had to bite my tongue on it because i almost said something but um this is not a political channel so i will not say that um and we all have a right to support who we support right okay moving right along though so typically guys um I try to be a diplomat. I'm a Libra. What can I say? So I try my best to be a diplomat in most areas. I try my best to try and see other people's perspective of things. But this is one of the few rants that you guys will see me do um, a video about. Because I've just gotten to the point, I'm a little vexed with people. And the amount of negativity sometimes that people bring to the table whether knowingly, unknowingly whether intentionally or unintentional right so one of my surprises I had coming for um, you guys surprise I'm having a baby so and I still have such a long way to go so guys yes I have four children Okay, keep this in mind. Um, my children are my biological. I have four children biologically, um, but I have six children through well, seven children through love. Um, and guys, one of my greatest journeys has been being a mom to my babies. One of my greatest journeys has been discovering the woman that they have helped me to become because they didn't cause me to become they have helped me to become and sometimes people can be overly negative or they could say very hurtful things and when we were little for most of us we used to say sticks and stones may break my bones but words will never hurt that's a whole lie I'm just, I'm just gonna go and tell y'all that's a lie so okay I announced to a couple of my really close friends you know my situation and listen, I don't think I like their reactions very much. And I just want to say this. It's not about quantity. It's about quality. So one of my friends said, oh, babies are not an accessory. Wait. Sis, you don't think I know that? Another one of my friends was like, well, you already got a lot of kids, children. Are you going to populate America? Almost cussed, but see, I told y'all I'm working on my Peter Spirit. Okay, I had another friend being sensitive of me, and I didn't really even think about it that way. Um, her and her spouse have been trying to conceive. Okay, and when I told her, I don't think I expected the reaction that she gave me, and it was like, whoa, you know, it was a really intense reaction. And, she just was like, well, can you give me a chance to have a baby before you have another one? Guys, I think, myself personally, I try my best to see everybody's side in everything because you never know what a person is dealing with mentally or emotionally or even spiritually because we all battle different things, right? So it made me feel some type of way. Then, I was speaking to one of my family members, and the family member said, Oh, well, you got four children. Why would you have another child? Yeah, that's the straw that broke the camel's back. Let me tell you something. First of all, 
three of my, four of my kids have one dad. You understand? Let's just talk about that. My children are not by different people, but irregular to where their dad is, what their dad does. Two feet to the ground, ten toes down, I take care of my children. I don't get social economical benefits. I work my ass off to take care of all four of my babies. Sometimes I take care of other people's kids too. And that's neither here nor there. My point in saying this is we condemn people and we judge people based on the number of children that they have, not by the quality in which they care for their babies, right? So, just a rundown of my four, I'm just going to tell you, my 13-year-old is top 3% in the district. She's number 10 in the state. She sings a soprano and can draw you the way that you look. Had, I had my baby tested. The neuropsychologist came back and told me, one in every 300 people score advanced across the board, one in every 200 children. How about my child scored advanced across the board at, thir at 14? I'm sorry. Whoop, excuse me. She just turned 14. At 14, um, my daughter has an IQ of 123, which is higher than the average adult. Come on. My 11-year-old, who has suffers from autism, went up four reading levels in one semester. Okay? And she works extremely hard to make sure that she can be a fluid in her curriculum on her grade level my eight-year-old does double digit triple digit and quadruple multiplication and division in his head you understand me my four-year-old signs does american sign language she signs 300 words she knows her name she can spell her name she can write her name knows her shapes her colors her address can count to 20 in english and in spanish is learning her abc's in spanish so don't tell me that i'm not doing a damn good job when it comes to raising my children right i may look a little raggedy but you will never ever see them dirty you will never ever see them out of place you will never ever see them out of pocket right you will never ever hear them be disrespectful to another adult or another child for that matter because I don't raise them that way and it's just funny to me because a lot of the people that were giving me such negative feedback it's like wait a minute but since you have one child and I never see you with your child you have one child and the level in which you care for your child could not even begin to compare to how I care for my children and you have one I have four and I make it look damn good so I just, guys, <sighs> excuse the rant at five at five oh four. But at this time, guys, it just it bothers me how people will whole life come for you, not measuring how well you are doing. Um, I have this very amazing friend, and I'm so very grateful to her. Shout out to Shara, cause man, she she my Libra sister, y'all. She had my back, like regardless. And she just and my friend Odette, thank you very much for all the encouragement for the pick me up basket and all those great things. But she just kind of said to me, you know, people will speak on your name. Whether you are doing great, whether you are doing good, whether you are just surviving or whether you are in the trenches, people will always speak on your name. So this is what I have to say to all the people who speak on my name regarding me as a mom and as a parent. When you speak on my name, speak on the fact that all of my children are clothed, not by different people, but by me. When you speak on my name, speak on the fact that my children are very intellectually versed. When you speak on my name, speak on the fact, damn, she make it look good. Because she works two and three jobs when she have to while being in school, while still being a mom. If you're going to speak on my name, speak on the fact of at this point, ain't none of my children out in the streets. Ain't none of my children in nobody else's custody. Ain't none of my children running around here willy-nilly having sex, smoking weed or none of that stuff. Because children or drinking, drinking, sex marijuana, drugs, stars, all at the age of 10 is the average number. Yes, 10. 10. In the United States. Speak on the fact that I got my own. Speak on those facts. Speak on the fact that, hey, 
some of y'all that's talking and running y'all mouths negatively about me are the very same one of y'all that have to come to me for money, that have to come for, come to me for parenting advice of all things. Speak on the fact that, yeah, I'm young, but I'm very spiritually versed. I'm intellectually versed. And also speak on the fact, excuse me, for to some of my uh, more profound Christians, um, to some of the more confounded Christians on my page, but speak on the fact that I'm on my shit and I make that shit look good. Speak on that fact. Guys, it just bothered me so bad. The last call I got, so mind you, I ain't had no sleep. I know y'all can tell because my face look all swollen and such. So the last call I got came in at about midnight last night. Well, this morning, rather, this morning. I had just finished doing three heads back to back. I was already tired because I just got back from out of town for Mother's Day weekend. I was extremely exhausted because not only had I done that, I had so much spring spring cleaning um, to do because I'm gearing up for some things. That's part of my second surprise, so please stay tuned for that. But guys, I'm just like, I'm floored and I'm kind of blown away because when the person called me, first of all, how dare you call and wake me up out my sleep? Talking about something that don't have anything to do with you. For why? Well, and the person was like, well, why didn't you tell me? Last time I checked, I don't owe you an explanation. And furthermore, you know, fall for the people who were talking about it, like telling my business before I could tell my business. Thanks, Fox 6 News. It's the way. Y'all, this, this is me in rare form. Because most of the time, I just laugh stuff off and I keep it moving. But today is not a laugh things off day. Because I'm just annoyed. Like, how dare you? How dare you? Y'all, right? Because I can see if I was just out here running the streets, loosey-goosey, willy-nilly, without a care in the world. But that is not the case. The truth of the matter is, I'm a person. And I have real feelings, Right? The truth of the matter is, more pursuing to me being me, I am a mom. I, and I'm a hell of a mom. Like, period. My little my little four-year-old, my little 17-year-old niece uh, taught my little niece this phrase, my baby this phrase, my four-year-old this phrase. And my four-year-old says, period, poo. That's me right now. Like, I'm a hell of a mom. Period, poo. So, at this point, guys, I had to get on the road because I had somewhere to be. Kind of overslept a little bit, which is another reason why I'm annoyed that the person called and woke me up because they knew I had to be on the road. But, I'm just kind of like, all things considered, life could be so much worse for myself and my children. I could not have the financial means to care for my children. Oh, but I do. I, and thank God for that. Like, I'm not necessarily gloating about what I have what I'm saying is I am very grateful for the things that God has given myself and my children and I am grateful for the motivation that I have to go out there and get what I can get for myself and my children and I'm not going to say by any means necessary but by honest means um, so yeah guys I just wanted to get on and you know and I also want to say to the young moms to the moms that have you know gone through their journey um, of motherhood that have multiple children like four five six seven eight nine ten eleven fifteen however many children you have as long as you are taking care of your children don't allow people or the world to condemn you because they don't have a heaven or hell to put you in and at the end of the day they are not the ones that have to care for your children. You are. They are not the ones that have to mold and shape your children into what God has already ordained them to be. You are. So don't allow other people's negativity to get in the way. I saw a post with a young lady yeah, a couple of days ago. I'm probably going to share it in a later video. Um, the young lady had six children and she was pregnant with baby number seven. She was 24 years old. There were no multiples. However, she was married. And all of her children were by her husband. Who seemed very happy to have her to be the mother of his children and his wife. And it's not about whether or not you're, you're married. Whether or not you've 
been married because you know the old saying says mama baby mama's baby papa's maybe right irregular to where dad is what dad is doing you still have to be mom and typically even when dad is in the house children still some kind of way seek out mom and they find their mom before they find anyone else so guys be proud of your title as a mom hold your head up high and continue to make it look good i'm talking to all the queens out there um and do what we do on an everyday basis even when the weight of the world is on our shoulders we still find a way to do what we need to do for our babies Guys, thanks for listening to me rant because I needed to get that off my chest because I was like, Oop, did you just wake me up at midnight? And not only did you wake me up at midnight, you came for my whole soul. On top of the fact, you salty as hell about me being pregnant. I don't like all that damn salt on my fries. Like, please get your life. Anyway, I tried to hold a PD in. But at least it was a minimum, Peter. Not a lot of Peter. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys have an amazing day. My day will be spent on the road to Virginia. When I leave Virginia, I am going to probably take a nap and hit the road for South Carolina. Then I'm going to head because i got to be in Alabama by Friday. And then I'm going to stay in Alabama until Sunday. But I then have to head back up the East Coast back to Virginia and be back in North Carolina by Monday evening. So guys, wish me peace and blessings. Um, I send a little prayers for traveling grace for myself and Cassie. Cassie over there sleeping. Say hey, Cassie. I thought Cassie was sleeping. Cassie not sleeping. Cassie just risking. Um... That's my 10 year old, soon to be 11. It's almost Cassie's birthday. Um, so, happy birthday to Cassidy a little bit early. Her birthday is May 29th. But anyway, guys, peace, love, and blessings to you all. Say some prayers for traveling grace. And I hope you all have a very amazing day.